Just to be clear, you're asking how much resources would the server consume when the whole site is offline? Background. I'm working with a technical client who used to work in our IT from late O up until six years ago and got promoted to a manager. Usually he is easy to deal with and I can talk to him without removing tech talk from the conversation as he helped to build a lot of our current setup back in the day. The system is an external facing system with a very large customer base and a massive footprint in our infrastructure this is only dealing with one part of the system. Note, anything in quotes has been changed to keep with the anonymity rule. Me. Hi, client, I've been asked to call you as we need to talk about the amount of resources your servers in VMware are holding, mainly memory as we are dangerously low. I've done the research and I've come to the conclusion that each of your servers no longer needs 40 gigabytes of memory, since if you remember we split the load that these systems were processing from two servers to six servers over our two sites back in April, during the test we kept the same resources for the six servers as we had allocated in the two server configuration. I now want to lower each server's memory from 40 gigabytes assigned to 24 gigabytes assigned to each per server as they no longer need that much resources. Client, well that is what the specs say on app documentation so we can't lower it. Me. Yes I wrote and updated that documentation a year ago when this project began, if you look at the bottom of the article, it says based on a two system configuration and that resources should be scaled down if we ever decided to scale out the server infrastructure, when I wrote the documentation there was a possible plan to chop up app into smaller pieces and now that we have the load on a single server isn't what it used to be. Client. I believe the systems still use all the resources so if anything we need more, we can't have the app going down. Me, here is a graph showing memory usage on these servers from the last six months since we moved to a six server setup, on average the servers are consuming less than 10 gigabytes of memory and even at its peak when we lost our secondary site, second site, due to that large power outage, when we were operating out of first site only for two days, each of the remaining nodes were only consuming 19 gigabytes of memory at their peak. Client, well what happens if you lose both sites won't that mean that the servers will start consuming double those resources again and we still need 40 gigabytes of memory. Me. 30 seconds of silence while my brain computes what they just said, are you asking how much memory a servers would consume if we lost both of our sites at once? Client. Yes wouldn't that mean the server would consume double the resources of the the already doubled load? Me. 30 more seconds of silence as I felt a small trickle of blood well in my nose. Just to be clear you're asking if we lost both sites that host our servers due to a power outage or network outage like we did during the last power outage, you're asking how much resources would the server consume at that site when the whole site is offline? Client. 30 seconds of silence on their end, oh I'll address it with my team today and get back to you. Overheard on a train. There are truly wonderful people in this world. This post is about the other ones. I'm riding the train right now, and I'm forced to overhear Karen's indignant rant about her help desk. Billy and Stan, you guys need our love, because you're definitely not getting it from her. Karen. And I told them it doesn't work. It hasn't worked for me for a long time. No, the other people using this machine don't have the same problem, but that doesn't mean it's not a problem. I raised a ticket and I just said, call me for details. Do they call? No, they send an email because they work a different shift. If I wanted to email them, I would have said email in the ticket. Blah blah. Billy finally comes over to the computer and, of course, the problem doesn't happen while he's here. He messes around with it, and I told him I need to get back to work, so he gets up to leave. I pick up the keyboard and slam it on the desk, because sometimes that causes the problem. Stan comes over and made me tell him the whole story again. I don't need two people's help, just one competent one. Finally, they notice a setting isn't right and they fix it. Of course it wasn't right, but they never listen. I decided to not use the computer anymore. Someone else can use it, but I don't trust it. Oh, and they still haven't responded to my ticket to ask for them to set up a conference call for me. It's been two years and they still haven't showed up. How am I supposed to do my work if they just ignore these tickets? The rant switched to a coworker that messed up the till count or something. Rest assured, Karen doesn't save her rage for her help desk guys. Billy and Stan, we've been there. Stay strong. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a good one.